Uh, Joff Heisenberg has asked me to comment on the phenomenon of victims becoming perpetrators as a result of their victimhood. Um, well, I believe that's what he asked me about. Um, I'm a supporter of Israel's right to exist and to defend itself, um, but I also am adamantly opposed to the proliferation of Israeli settlements in Palestinian territories. I think that Israel's right to exist and defend itself in no way entitles it to some sort of let in terms of, I don't know, bad behavior vis-a-vis -vis the Palestinians. When does something become toxic? Um, <clears throat> in this case, I think that the idea of guilt or victimhood or perpetratorhood or whatever does become toxic, but it's very difficult to identify the point at which that happens. And it's almost impossible to be certain because the one looks like the other a lot. In other words, let's just say for a cynical exercise, let's just say that I believe myself to be a victim of something or other. And I use that victimhood as a means of explaining my bad behavior. Look, if you'd put up with the crap I've had to put up with, um, you would actually be a lot worse than I am, and therefore you can't really judge me. To me, that's just one more reason to have something against guilt-based po uh, politics, ethics. Although, uh, in the case of the Middle East, it's often guilt-based politics, but uh, guilt-based ethics. Because guilt, innocence, victimhood, perpetratorhood, these things are... Um, these things are difficult things to pin down in many cases, and I would say probably in real life they're almost impossible. Um, Hitler started out by exploiting the sense of victimhood of the Germans um, and exacerbating it, <laughs> if you ask me, deliberately exacerbating the German sense of indignation to whip them up so he could manipulate them. In a sense, they were, they were victims of their own sense of victimhood or somebody else's ability to manipulate it. Um, in keeping, I guess, with Anikandavada, anything is dual-natured. Any emotion, any feeling, any moral position has a sting in its tail. And guilt-based ethics uh, have a particularly nasty sting in their tail. Um, my favorite example of that is my old friend uh, in Mendham. Uh, he's taken guilt, as I say, to psychotic levels, or one could say depths, um, to the point where uh, hatred, um, rage, um, extremely offensive uh, language, that kind of thing, is allegedly justified due to the perpetratorhood of anyone who doesn't follow their ethical system. Um Midan Agan, right? Uh, nothing in excess, because anything in excess becomes toxic. Anything. 